Did you know 96% of marketers agree that segmentation is the best way to increase conversion rates? I'm going to show you the best way to segment your audience on your Shopify to help increase conversion rates. Let's jump into it. So to start with most clients, what I'll do at the most basic level is create some very simple segments that are very powerful and extremely useful and easy to create. So these are just the most basic segments that I always create no matter what. The first is zero purchasers. So anybody on the Shopify store that has yet to make a purchase, but we do have their email address. Um, so we're gonna segment those. Next is those who have made one purchase. So they've purchased something on the store before, but they've yet to make a second purchase. Additionally, I go after anybody that's made just a purchase of a single SKU. So if a store has multiple SKUs, if they have 10, 20, 30, 40 SKUs, if a customer has only purchased one specific SKU, I, I create segments based on each SKU um, if, if they've only made that one purchase. Uh, additionally, I will do a segment of anybody that's abandoned the cart and that's refreshed on a regular basis. So that's an important segment. Additionally, a lapsed purchaser segment. So this is anybody who um, has made a purchase but hasn't made a purchase in a long time. So typically I'll try to dig deeper into the data. So if they purchased on a frequent basis but then stopped, this is an extremely powerful segment to go after. Uh, I will additionally create the top 10% customers of the entire Shopify store. So that's anybody um, you, you want to average out what the uh, customer lifetime value is for your all of your customers and then whatever the top 10% of that is. Um, you really want to segment that audience because these, this is your diehard fans and it's an important segment to create. And lastly, I'd like to create an audience set of those who are not subscribed to any email or SMS. Uh, this audience segment really can be swept under the rug and it's really unfortunate because they clearly are electing to not be a part of email or SMS, but um, there's other places in which we can market to them. So I always try to create a segment for those that are not subscribed to email or SMS. So once we have these segments, the, the idea here really is to create specific campaigns around these specific segments. Now, I walked you through the most basic level segments that I create, but you can really expand this to whatever works best for your brand. But the concept here is whether you're doing social advertising, whether you're doing email marketing, SMS marketing, or even creating landing pages or specific consumer experiences, you wanna take these segments and really understand why they're in this segment and try to market to them in a much different manner. So for instance, with the zero purchasers, now you have the opportunity to sell them on something like an introductory product, whether you know if you're selling a physical product, it could be a variety pack or a starter pack or a sample pack. Um, and additionally, with the, those single purchasers, right? Maybe you wanna offer them a really good discount on their next order. The, the benefit here is you're, you're creating a smaller audience set within your audiences so that you can really tailor these campaigns specifically to these groups. So one of the best ways to take these different audience sets is really to export them out of Shopify and upload them to different social advertising platforms because now you can utilize these audiences not only for email and sms but now for advertising and this is really where things become powerful because again you can create specific campaigns for these specific audience sets but you can also create lookalike campaigns on many of these platforms so it'll take the data from your shopify store import it into their um, their platform and they'll be able to automatically determine like customers that are similar to the customers in which you segmented. So this really can become powerful as you extrapolate on these audiences. 
But really the idea here is to not only use these segments internally on your Shopify store through email and SMS and you know different different softwares that you can utilize on Shopify, but also to use them in a valuable way off Shopify through uh, different social advertising platforms um, or different marketing platforms off Shopify. Another great new addition to Shopify is Shopify audiences. And this is somewhat new, but it has had a pretty good rollout. And I've seen some pretty decent success from uh, utilizing Shopify audiences. But really what it's using is the data within Shopify to create profiles of similar customers. And they've already integrated with the most popular social platforms and they make it very easy for you to integrate with your existing advertising um, platforms and ad accounts. And what you're doing is you're willing to share your customer data to gain access into the program so that you can target like customers. So Shopify will create profiles without actually providing you with the data, like the specific data to the customers but it'll create these connections and these profiles that allows you to really further reach more customers that are like your customers on these social advertising platforms. So I'll leave a link below to Shopify audiences. You should definitely check it out and learn a little bit more. But like I said, with the clients that I've seen use it, it it's been a pretty powerful way to expand the audience set beyond what you have in your own Shopify store. Another great tip that I've given to a lot of clients, specifically with smaller brands, is a lot of these brands will do collaborations with other brands on social media to try to increase their follower count, increase engagement and awareness. But what I don't see a lot of brands take advantage of is really sharing the data. Um, whether you decide to take a Facebook pixel, for instance, and utilize that pixel on the, the, with the, on the site of the brand you're collaborating with, you could share pixel data and you can put your pixel on their website and they could put their pixel on yours. Or even if they're simply selling or giving, they're selling their product to your consumers and their consumers through the social post, Maybe you make an agreement that anybody that converts through this social engagement that you're willing to share that customer data with each other. Again, you don't want to think of segments just simply within your own Shopify domain in your own store. But if you are collaborating with other brands, try to take advantage of that collaboration and really try to gather some of that customer data so that you both can benefit. Um, rather than just focusing on increasing follower count and having to use third parties like social media, you really can take advantage of the data that you're gathering through this collaboration and through the sales that are generated from the collaboration and bring that customer <clears throat> and bring that customer data into Shopify is a lot more powerful than just allowing these people to follow you on social media. So be more open to potentially collaborating and utilizing and sharing data with the brands that you work with. So segmentation is really a powerful way to make sure that when you are marketing, you're sending the right message to the right audience. So try to think up of, you know, some creative segments that you can create on your own Shopify store. Use some of the segments that I provided um, here on the most basic level and really try to take these customer segments and leverage them to the fullest to try to increase conversion rates, increase engagement rates, and grow your Shopify overall.